Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my 25 days of Craftmas series. During this series, I'm going to show you how to make these 25 Christmas projects using your Cricut. And I'll also share the SVG files I used to make all the projects for free, so you can make them too. Last week, I shared a variety of Christmas countdown projects, so if you missed any of those, be sure to check them out. This week, it's all about quick and easy projects. The projects I'll share can be made in about 15 minutes or less. It's day nine, and today I have another easy Christmas project to share. I'm going to show you how to make this lighted Christmas tree bottle. I made some lighted bottles for fall and just loved how they turned out. So when I saw this Christmas tree shaped bottle, I knew I needed to make one for Christmas too. This is a really easy Christmas project and I'm excited to show you how to make your own. So let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need a Christmas tree shaped glass bottle and I found mine on Amazon and I'll put the link in the box below. You'll need adhesive vinyl and I actually used a white glitter adhesive vinyl. You'll need transfer tape, painter's tape, your weeding tool and scraper, some wine cork lights, twine, Christmas embellishments, a hot glue gun and glue, and of course, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. For this project, we'll be using the cut file called Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. B A 1805. To find it, you can either click on Craftmas 2021 and look for day nine, or you can use your browser search and just type in 1805. Once you've found that link, go ahead and click on it and the files will be downloaded onto your computer. So I'm going to show you how to set up and cut this design in Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and import designs into Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step tutorial. So once you import the design onto the camera screen, it will look like this. And the only thing that we need to do with this design is resize it so that it will fit on the glass bottle. If you're using the same bottle I'm using, you need to go up and change the height to 8.75 inches. And that should resize the design so that it will fit perfectly on that glass bottle. If you're using a different type of bottle, you'll just need to measure to figure out what size to make the design. And like I said, that is the only thing we need to do on the canvas screen. So now you can go up and click on the green make it button. And then you'll be taken to this screen. And this is just going to show us what our design is going to look like on the cutting mat. If everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Make sure that your Cricut is on and once Design Space finds it, you'll be taken to this screen. Now I am going to be cutting this design out of white glitter adhesive vinyl. If you're going to do that, you need to turn the dial to custom and then you can click browse all materials and then I'm just going to search for glitter. And right here is glitter vinyl. So select that and then click done. And that is all we need to do on this screen. So now we can go over and load the cutting mat. So place your piece of white glitter vinyl on your cutting mat. Smooth it out so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles and then load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the Cricut will begin cutting. Once everything has been cut, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. 
Remove the vinyl from the cutting mat and trim away any unused portion of the vinyl. Then weed away the excess vinyl from around your design. You can use a weeding tool to help you pull out the pieces that are left inside of the letters. Next, place a piece of transfer tape sticky side up on your work surface and then place your vinyl on top of that. Smooth it down and then rub over everything firmly with your scraper. Then you can trim off the excess vinyl backing and transfer tape. Now that our vinyl is done, we can apply it to our glass bottle. The first thing you'll need to do is clean the bottle with some rubbing alcohol and then let it air dry. Once it's dry, it's time to add the vinyl lettering. We're going to be using the hinge method to apply the vinyl decal to our glass bottle. So place the design on your bottle and then put a piece of painter's tape over the middle of it. Adjust the design so it's straight and centered. Make sure all of the letters are on the glass bottle. Once you're happy with the placement, you can press down on the tape. Next, you're going to separate the vinyl from the vinyl backing on the top half of the design. Pull the vinyl over the painter's tape and then cut off and remove the vinyl backing. Use a scraper to press the design down. You'll want to start at the tape and push to the top. Now you can remove the painter's tape and the rest of the vinyl backing. Use a scraper to press down the rest of the design. Start where the tape was and press down. Now you can carefully pull off the transfer tape. Next, we're going to add the lights. I used wine bottle cork lights for this project. All you have to do is unwind them and then carefully thread them into the bottle. The switch is on the back of the cork, so it's super easy to turn them on and off. You can use a skewer or a long stick to move the lights around inside the bottle. Once you're happy with how they look, you can thread the rest of the lights into the bottle and push the cork into place. The last thing we're going to do is dress up the top of the bottle with some Christmas embellishments. I wrap some twine around the neck several times and used hot glue to hold it in place. Then I glued on a few Christmas items to finish off the bottle. And that's all there is to it. This lighted glass bottle is finished. What a pretty decoration for Christmas. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more projects you can make with your Cricut, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post something new.